Hello and welcome to <laughs> Minisode 22. You did it. You actually said Minisode, okay. There we go. 22. And we're, this time? We're, we're, we're doing... We're probably, talking about... Well, yeah, we're talking about the new um, Black Mirror something 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 at Thought Park. Yes, so in late February of 2020... Thought Park Resort announced that they're opening a new um, attraction at the park in uh, spring of 2020. Um, and they said it would be called, or it is, the Black Mirror Labyrinth. So they've partnered with Black Mirror, who are a TV series, mm -hmm. uh, to create this brand new experience. Um, so let's just talk about Black Mirror. Yeah. What, what? How long has Black Mirror been out? Because we... A while. So it's on Netflix. And it, it's... Well, no, it wasn't on Netflix originally. Wasn't it? What was it on? Um, Channel 4? Probably. Well, it's on Netflix now and it's... Channel 4, yeah. It's got loads of series and each episode is like its own story. So you don't have to watch it mm -hmm. um, chronologically. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? It's like, um, I don't know how you describe it. It's like sci-fi, yeah. Sci-fi dystopian, like, futures, basically. Not not necessarily futures, but dystopian kind of settings. Um, it's not even that. It's just um, crazy, like, ideas of how the world could be. Mm. So, like, one of them, um, the episodes was about, like, social media. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of... Obviously, it's just like a drama, but it was like this new social media where everyone had a little device and they could rate other people so like if you met someone you could rate them like four out of five and then their score would average out over all their ratings yeah. but if you had a really bad score you were like basically shunned from society mm -hmm. and it was about this woman who just basically went crazy because of it so stuff like that it's like weird things that you it's like crazy kind of dark ideas yeah essentially and a lot of times it will just kind of end in like a really abrupt way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not it's that happy kind of endings, style. No. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of them are just kind of technology based. Yeah. I would say, or not. Yeah, technology not necessarily going wrong, but the unanticipated consequences of new technology, as it puts it. Yeah. So like the, the dark side. Mm -hmm. Usually set in an alternative present or the near future. Yeah. Um. So yeah, as always said, they're all kind of standalone episodes. Uh, they're all conceptual and kind of like what would happen if this was a thing yeah you know it shows you going wrong essentially most of the time it's quite popular isn't it? oh yeah it's, it's like it's everyone watches it yeah so um so yeah no thought park resort announced that they're partnering with black mirror to create this maze and it's going to become the world's first live black mirror experience okay so apparently there's been other Black Mirror experiences, but not live. Right. Um, and it says, get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual... Cutting edge... Cutting... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. <laughs> get lost as you enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensor defying environments. Will you keep your grip on reality or will you lose yourself in the mainframe as this unpredictable digitized dimension reveals an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces your every existence? Okay. So what would you get from that vibe wise? What are you thinking off the bat? Uh, well, they've called it a labyrinth. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a cross between like a dark ride and a scare maze. Oh, I think they're wholeheartedly on scare maze. Yeah. I think it's just going to be a scare maze. Just like a box standard one. Not box standard, but like a slightly enhanced interactive scare maze. Scare maze. Yeah. I... Because one of the things I was going to say is I forgot that they did that one episode like recently where it was on oh, Netflix yeah. and you could choose how the episode went. So yeah. they'd play like a couple of scenes of this like story and then it would pop up on the screen like, do you want to choose this or do you want to choose this yeah. for the character to do? And there was like all different routes that the episode could go through. Yep. So you like chose how the story ended. Yep. I feel like it's that kind of thing. So like you'll be in the maze and you can go one way or the other way. Potentially. And the story will change depending on which way you go. That would be cool. Yeah. Like if they actually, if it actually has a story, uh -huh. like um, you're in the story, mm -hmm. then they could have different rooms. So like you would get a different ending if you went a different way. Yeah. The other thing is like, obviously it's going to have actors, right? You'd hope so in a way. Because it says live, mm -hmm. but then how would they do actors all the time? They probably wouldn't. But then how would that work? They'd probably be actors in peak times, potentially, or reduced actors else out, out of normal peak 
you know. I feel like they should just stop. If they're going to do that kind of thing, they either need to be like committed to having actors so they're going to have actors all the time, no matter what day you go on, mm-hmm. or they just don't have actors at all. Because when you get rid of it, it kind of takes away from the whole thing. Like, you know, with DGBT, when they had the actors in the mm. in that one room, and then when you went in and there wasn't, yeah. you were just kind of there like, well, this is a cool room, but like, it's not really the same. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is interesting. Um, I don't really know if it'll be a maze per se. You know, they like to use the word maze, you know, scare maze, whatever, whatever, but they're never really mazes. I can't imagine this is going to be a maze either. Well, it depends what you mean by maze, because... In my eyes, a maze is literally just a path that you walk through. No, that's not a maze. But that's what I mean. That That's what they all it's call a, a maze. No, but in a yeah, theme park, exactly. they that's call it a say. maze, but it's not a maze. Yeah, but then if, if they do have multiple different paths that you go down... Well, the, the sure. only reason I'm saying that is because they've called it a labyrinth, mm-hmm. which makes you see... It makes A labyrinth is where you get lost, right? Mm-hmm. So it makes it seem like there's going to be dead ends and stuff like that. It would be cool if some of the parts of the maze made you loop round. Yeah. You know... And do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think vibe-wise, it's probably, judging on the, the art here, which just shows kind of like very sterile environment, blue yeah. lights. It's got the loading sign, so it's obviously tech. Yeah. You know, I think th- there's going to be a lot of, obviously, yeah, bright lighting, very kind of minimalist in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, but as they said, you know, they're using visual technology and sensor-defying environment. What does sensor-defying environment mean? Maybe, you know, high-pitched noises. <laughs> oh, sens- like sensory-defying. So, like, your oh, yeah, senses. Sensory. Yeah. So, like, maybe one room is, like, all visual illusions. Yeah, exactly, yeah, potentially. So it's kind of like a madhouse, but modern tech madhouse. Maybe, yeah, maybe. With less kind of moving things and more The visual. tech makes you, like, uneasy. Yeah, it could well be. As you said, I kind of hope there's a story to this and it's not just kind of like, oh, here's a maze. If know? there's no story, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. It would be good if there was kind of like a pre-show aspect they, to it. They've got to have something because otherwise you wouldn't know what was going on. You need a pre-show and a finale, basically. Yeah. Um, and it'd be cool if as you went through, the kind of story developed. That's what I mean. And then it'd be cool if you could choose your path as well. Mm. But I doubt it's going to mm. be that advanced. Yeah, who knows? I think there's a lot to play with. There's The whole Black Mirror world is very vague. It, yeah. You know, so it depends who who's, who's helped to produce this. I think the people who make Black Mirror have a lot of cool concepts that could be used. But it's whether they've just given them permission yeah, exactly, yeah. to do what they want and then... Yeah, this is it. Depends how much the park have committed to... Um, to it pulling it off exactly i think as far as ips go it's like for thorpe it's a good choice because oh, ips yeah i think it's a really good ip it's cool like all the young teenagers watch it it's like modern bit dark mm-hmm. you can do a lot with it and then if they've got it as a scare maze type thing they can use it at halloween as mm. well yeah which is obviously like one of their biggest things yeah so this is an all year round experience that's going to be free to enter as far as i'm aware um, so everyone can get go in it on mm-hmm. it. It's probably not going to be a ride per se, as we said, more of, of a not. walkthrough. Yeah. More of a kind of like a maybe a scare maze that's less Halloweeny and more kind of yeah visual. Mm. I feel um, like it is just a scare maze, but they don't have to make it that scary. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Let's look at what some of you guys thought. Uh, Joel pretty much echoed what you said. For one, Stort Park have picked an IP that suits the park well and isn't outdated or ethically questionable. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. I, as, as we said, I think it's a really good, um, really good IP. Yeah. Something that I wouldn't have expected anyone to use, honestly. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have even thought of that. No, no. At all. But it's very cool. Yeah. I think they need to start doing more like Netflix shows because obviously that's what everyone's watching now. Mm-hmm. So they just need to focus on that more than rather, I don't know. This is probably the first like Netflix show situation. Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else where a Netflix show has been used. Oliver says it'll probably be cool at the start and then slowly decline throughout the season with broken effects, etc. Probably, as they all do. Yeah. That is how it goes. I mean, I think the general vibe on here was that it's a good idea, but they don't trust Thorpe to kind of like do it well. Yeah. Mm. Dispatch Download says, as a fan of the series, I'm quite looking forward to experiencing this. Me too. I'm I'm a big fan of the series. So 
Yeah. I'm excited to see how they play it, play it off. And then he goes on to say, um, it might not be the investment we all wanted from Thorpe, but hopefully that comes in the next couple of years. Yeah. Very true. Uh, Lewis says, I think it will be like Darren Brown's Ghost Train. It will be good, but have limited rewritability. Everything's got limited rewritability. Yeah. And I think, I mean, it depends what they do, but like if they're doing the thing of different routes that you can take, then obviously it's a bit more rewritable because every time you could go mm. a different way. But I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really matter about rewritability that much because it's not going to be a permanent attraction. That yeah. Stays at the park for, you know, indefinitely. It's probably going to be a yearly, just an annual thing, right? And also, like, who in the, out of all their visitors, everyone's just going to go on it once. Yeah. It's not like, I don't know. I don't want to say like the GP, but basically the GP aren't going to ride it more than once. It's only there to like give them a new thing to go and try out. Mm-hmm. It's not a coaster. No, this it's is not it. an investment that they're going to keep. No. So it doesn't really need to be rewritable. It just no. needs to be impressive the first time. Yeah, pretty much. Um, Costiera says, I hope it won't have the same fate as I'm a celeb or saw a light. You know, I'm a celeb was kind of there and then wasn't there and then has been replaced many yeah. times and then saw a light existed and then didn't exist yeah i think it is going to be exactly like that well that's kind of what they do right yeah well these type of attractions that's kind of how it goes you know is just what these are about they're not Mm. they're never permanent additions and i think it would be wrong to make something along the same lines that is permanent unless Mm. it was a fully fledged dart ride you know but this doesn't seem to be a fully fledged dart ride the thing is with thorpe like um when you look at their like target audience, it's teenagers, right? And teenagers kind of get bored quite easily. So mm-hmm. I feel like they don't really commit to things like a dark ride or, you know, stuff like that. Because every year they have to change to keep them interested and want to go back. Yeah. Because, you know, making something new is more exciting than just going back to the same old dark ride. And with teenagers and like young people, that's what they want to be doing. They want to yeah. try something new. Yeah. So that I feel like that's their tactic of like, we'll just do this for a year or two and then change it. Well, yeah, and then it's smaller scale investments, isn't it? They don't yeah. have to commit to something big. It's just, yeah. Every year something fresh. Mm-hmm. So the new attraction is being joined by quite a few different events. Some of which are a similar vein. We've got Hyper Spring, when the picture is this like, glitched photo of the swarm. Um, What's Hyper Spring? Unlock the cryptic code phrase as you ride some of Europe's most thrilling rides in the Cosmic Six Challenge. Um, enjoy a brand new 2020 live show and indulge yourself with with limited edition digital delicacies what? available across the island. Uh, for the May half term only, brace yourself for random coaster replays, detonation delays and system overloads as the park battles a trans-dimensional glitch with the Hyper Ride Roulette. I'm confused. What is that even about? No idea. Literally no what? idea. What? Yeah. So they're going all out on the glitch. <laughs> what event is that? The glitch thing. Hyper Spring. I can't even imagine what that even entails. Yeah. The, what? Yeah. And then they have cool. Supercharged Summer. Um, Basically just get wet. That's what it says. <laughs> Cool. Soak your mates, change your limits, and splash into supercharged summer at Thorpe Park Resort. And then obviously Fright Nights as well. Yeah. Um, and they have, uh, on the 21st of March, they have a Saturday Night Kiss event from 7pm to 2am. The park is open. What's that? Like a club 18, type thing? 18 only. 18 plus, sorry. Yeah, literally. The live music thing. Yeah, live music. Yeah, pretty much just live music all night. Mm-hmm. So I think that's just kind of like the start of their season. The launch. Right. Um... So they're doing some stuff. Yeah, they, they've got they've got events going on. Events that we can't even understand. Mm-hmm. Well, it will be interesting to see what they mean by this hyper spring thing. Yeah, I really don't how get it. How does roller coaster replays mean? So just send what, the train what, round what, again. What? How can it be a glitch? That's well confusing. Yeah. Anyway, um, that is it. That's pretty much it. We don't really know too much about anything. Yeah. Right now, and I don't think we will until probably close to the time, right? So. So Black Mirror's opening spring. Spring. What does that mean? <sighs> Probably sometime in April. Okay. Um, maybe maybe at the start, but it depends if they get things together. Spring is always just a vague term for. Depends how it goes. Somewhere <laughs> near the start of the season. Yeah, but it'll be start to yeah yeah. Well, I mean, at least they're doing some exciting things. I mean, we all knew it wasn't going to be a big coaster. Yeah. And I think everybody keeps saying, "Oh, when's the coaster going to come?" Just if you just let it go, just accept that it's not going to be a coaster, then you can be like, oh, this is actually a cool investment. I'm sure when they start to get a coaster, we'll know about it. 
Yeah. People well, are so... Well, planning permission and everything. Yeah. But people are so eager. It would surprise me if Thorpe's um, social media didn't post about their new coaster really quite early. Even like a tease of we're getting a coaster. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. I reckon as soon as they know, they'll put something out. Just yeah. because people have been craving it for so long. It has been a while. Even if it's still like a year and a half down the line, you know. But when you just take out that equation, it's actually quite a good investment. You oh, get yeah, to go fine. on something new, something that's like quite different to yeah. other stuff. Well, there's not really much out there like it. So yeah. It's, it, it's, the potential is very high. It just depends how well it's executed, yeah? Yeah. But um, I look forward to experiencing it myself yeah. at some point. Should be good.